That's the problem I have with you, all of this. You, you alluded to one of the cases, and this is a civil trial uh, dealing with E. Jean Carroll, uh, and the attorney who represented her, Roberta Kaplan, she said this week that Donald Trump was so angry during a deposition that his team was providing her lunch, that he threw papers across the table and stormed off. Uh, he also made a veiled reference to the, the C word. You're now his competitor, but you've worked very closely with him, as you've talked about even in this, in this interview. Do you think he has a problem with women who challenge him? Well, I challenged him a lot, and he actually handled it very well and was very um, respectful. If I saw him doing something wrong, I showed up or I called him, and I would say, you cannot do this, but instead, you know, do it this way, this way, or this way. And so he, um, he knew um, that I knew what I was talking about and that I was looking out for the best interests of America. And so he didn't challenge me. I think that there are issues. Obviously, you see the things that he says. He is not a perfect person. He is flawed. But more than that, let's look at this not from the context of him personally. Let's look at this as a leader and a president. You have 70 percent of Americans who have said they don't want Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Why are we doing this? Why are we allowing ourselves to have two 80-year-olds who can't serve eight years, who both are diminished, whether it's in their character or in their mental capacity? Why are we doing this? We deserve better. America deserves better. I voted for Donald Trump twice. I was proud to serve America in his administration. But he is not the right person to lead us going forward. That's a fact. And I think you look at these court cases, you see how he's acting. All you had to do was see how he acted after I got 43 three percent of the vote in New Hampshire. He was upset because he thought I was going to be down 25 percent. He threw a temper tantrum. Why? Because he wasn't controlling the situation. But he never talked about the American people. He never talked about the out of control spending and inflation. He never talked about how we were going to get kids reading again. He never talked about the border and the lawlessness. He never talked about the wars that were happening. He just talked about himself. That's the problem. This isn't about Donald Trump. This is about where we go in America. And I say this to Republicans.